probably the only person that could rival you in reputation for college sport was Joe Paterno. And his career came to this awful, right. tragic end. How did you feel about that? As someone that knew him well, worked in a parallel world to him for a long time. I mean, a very sad thing for him, wasn't it? No, it's horrible. And uh, I've respected Coach Paterno for my entire life and had a chance to get to know him really well in the last year of his life. Mm-hmm. We did a show together, and uh, I thought it was really not well done, you know, in, in handling the situation. That It's a difficult situation to encounter. But you had somebody who's given six decades of service to the university and, and done such an incredible job. Somehow you have to let some, something has to play out and respect the fact that you've gone through all these experiences for six decades and it doesn't just go out the window you know, right, at, right at the end. I thought it was a real mistake by uh, Penn State's uh, uh, leadership. I mean, if such a similar set of circumstances had happened at Duke, you had a Sandusky-like figure. And, innocent till proven guilty, right. but on the assumption that a lot of what we're hearing has some merit to it. How do you deal with that? What should Joe Paterno perhaps have done that he didn't? Well, you should deal with it like, like uh, any team should deal with. In other words, I'm on the Duke team. If that happened in my area, then I would look to work with my athletic director and my president to have a solution. And if that solution meant that I would step down, I would do it in a way which would be part of the solution, not, not like you're just throwing out. And uh, yeah, you have to understand that in leadership, uh, you may be asked to step down, and that's part of being a leader.